Hi, my name is Igor. I'm the founder of Bankex. And uh, we're here to run uh, our first fintech blockchain hackathon. I graduated from this institute. This is the leading uh, Russian Moscow physics institute. So it's where, where all the rocket scientists are coming from. So I'm also the graduate of this institute, and that's why I come back in order to find the best tal talents and the future Vitalik Buterians, who are basically can be maybe sitting next to me right now. So I got a very diverse background before doing bankings. First of all, I have uh, graduated from uh, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. I have master in economics. I have master in the, uh, in the journalism, and finally, I got MBA from uh, Stanford Business School and spent three years in the, in the US and California. Uh, before business school, I was with uh, Deloitte uh, Corporate Finance uh, and uh, McKinsey and Company. I was a consultant for two years, and then while staying, while being in business school, I spent my summer inter, inter, internship in the Chicago. I was in Chicago in Citadel Hedge Fund as a summer investment and trading associate. Uh, so after graduation from business school, I was involved and run a couple of startups in Silicon Valley. I worked for BBVA Innovations. I worked for Bessemer Venture Partners. I worked for many uh, firm. Uh, in the venture capital industry and innovations. And uh, then in 2012, I came back uh, to Russia in order to run Innovation Lab. So I approached top five banks here with the idea to launch Innovation Lab. At that time, nobody has these labs. So I, I got the deal with the, the biggest bank here and uh, met the president of the bank, Mr. Graf, and was hired directly by him and ran for three years Innovation Lab for Sbear Bank. And uh, one year and a half ago, I left the bank after my contract was over to run my own independent innovation lab. So that's how the bank started. Firstly, it was just an innovation lab similar to German FinLeap or Rocket Internet. And then uh, we, uh, we right now, we already funded a couple of companies and we're about to sell one of them. And uh, finally, we figured out last year that uh, the, all the companies that we are doing, uh, uh, they're all, uh, all around tokenization, all around uh, making something liquid from something that is a liquid. And uh, this, the, this is how we uh, started to understand that we are close to cryptocurrency and blockchain. And this is how BankX.co emerged, emerged, that is cryptocurrency in West Bank. And uh, finally, we figure out that we have to build the full foundation, so the, the full community around us. We found different pieces of ecosystem that is coming together. And this, this is how we come up, uh, we end up with uh, BankX foundations and uh, initial coin offering that we're preparing right now. So Bank is, uh, is uh, consists out of three pieces right now. First of all, it's uh, FinTech Innovation Lab. So this is uh, our core, this is our competitive advantage, why we're different from any other kind of smart contract guys or blockchain platform, blah, blah, blah. Because we have very strong FinTech and IT background behind us. And this is traditional FinTech. Uh, I mean, uh, right, crowdfunding, crowd selling, uh, a KYC identification, so many, many big problems that in many countries different banks are solving right now. And we're using this technology in order to make to, to tokenize assets. So the second part of BankX is a kind of crypto invest bank or tokenization platform. This is bankx.co. And uh, this is mostly legal guys and investment bankers in our team who are uh, preparing a uh, particular bond issue and so who are preparing tokenization ICO uh, in other for initial coin offerings for uh, to make to make the asset liquid so and the third part is the foundation and the foundation part it's uh, pretty similar as ethereum so there is ethereum labs and there is ethereum foundation so there is bankx labs and there is bankx foundation so bankx foundation is uh, the foundation that is uh, the union of four different uh, pieces, four different uh, uh, parts of the market. This is, first of all, it's technology owners or fintech labs like BankX labs. Second are asset owners. So the guys who has something that is a liquid and that they are looking for our help to tokenize this. Uh, third, is, uh, third part is legal and investment banking by guys, it's a kind of bankx.co. And the fourth part, the last one is exchanges. So like uh, public uh, capital market exchanges or crypto exchanges or private placements. And we have a couple of products that is uh, leveraging all those 
uh, the full cycle. So one of them is uh, securitization of the pay the loans uh, companies here in Russia. And the second one is uh, crypto gold, when we tokenize the gold and uh, moving this to crypto exchanges. So we, we uh, build this uh, hackathon uh, uh, in order to so we, we, deci we decided that at some point, we decided that we are right now, when uh, we become already out of uh, engineers who regularly I hire it as my friends from my, through my social networks, so we understood that we need some uh, like new blood. And that's why we come back to my university. This is the leading technical university in the country and in the region. In order to find the talents and uh, to get uh, these talents on board. And we we probably we give them gave them exactly the same problems that we are solving within our new, real business, and we are looking. For instance, these are problems they are pretty pretty big one. For instance, they are making the uh, blockchain contracts uh, legal, making making all the smart contracts like enforceable. So it's one of the just one of the problems. So decentralized KYC. So these are uh, many of these problems. You will find them on Hyperledger list of pilots of KYC that is uh, some uh, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, other guys are doing. So basically, we are solving these problems right here. And uh, uh, what is interesting with this hackathon is organized by us, by a startup company, and we invited our colleagues uh, from banks that are our clients, and uh, they they came in order to support us and uh, help us to. Uh, basically to assist in explaining these problems to the students and uh, that's why a uh, few banks came and uh, we are working in Russia right now with 10 banks in the Moscow exchange so some of these guys came here to support us. So we've, we formulated uh, uh, six problems for this hackathon one of them is uh, so one of them is decentralized KYC this is the pro this is the problem that is uh, was for, uh, came from one of our clients, Ross Eurobank, and uh, the idea is that there is a ledger of identities that is redistributed through different uh, banks, and uh, when somebody, the client, is coming to the new bank, they can just uh, they can just find his identity in one another bank where he already got uh, authentication. So it's one of them. Another one is we we uh, took took from GitHub the stack of Quorum and uh, JP Morgan Azure project, and we basically gave it to our audience and asked them to develop uh, some advanced uh, contracts and services on top of this uh, Quorum project. It means that as soon as this will be done, it's uh, just another product, the product ready to run on top of JP Morgan in New York. Uh, so it's the second one. Another one is pump accounts. It's uh, basically automatic trading, uh, automatic investing, uh, following uh, another investor on cryptocurrency exchange. There is, uh, it's used in some forex account. It's used in regular capital markets. So we asked ask, ask guys to develop these kind of accounts and the contract uh, for uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, there is one more, it's a uh, time tokenization contract. So we have the product within the uh, BankX Labs, it's uh, decentralized KYC and uh, making any, kind, any person uh, as a bank agent. So it means tokenize the time of this uh, person in order to uh, move or to give him an opportunity to make money while delivering the bank credit card. So this means the tokenization of the time and we ask the guys to develop the uh, blockchain API and blockchain uh, smart contracts, Ethereum smart contracts in order to trade time. Yeah, so there are, there are some more, there is uh, for instance like escrow, there is some simple stuff like escrow contracts on top of Ethereum that we we're going to use for our private placement in the US when uh, when somebody will, uh, somebody, a private investor that I'm going to meet in my trip to US will send us uh, Ethereums or uh, Bitcoins and then uh, he will get back our bank X coins. And there is a separate uh, escrow where, uh, where all these things is coming to. We have huge plans uh, for this year. So we, uh, right now we're in the middle of ICO process for our foundation. So uh, we incorporated the foundation in Singapore uh, because this is one of the, the best, one of the best in the world jurisdiction for uh, cryptocurrency foundations uh, where Ethereum is incorporated as well. 
So uh, I'm uh, right now making road show for the whole world uh, with uh, presenting Banking Foundation and our ideas. So we will be will participate in, in joining Symphony Foundation, and I will be in New York in a few days for annual meeting on Symphony Foundation members, as Citadel, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, and all the guys. So just to explain uh, for those who don't know, Symphony Foundation is the foundation built in order to create open source protocol for uh, capital markets members exchange, like similar to Bloomberg, but open source. Uh, this one thing, another thing, we will uh, participate in uh, Money 2020 Europe and we will have separate table there. So we'll be glad to see you there, guys, in Copenhagen in uh, June 26, 27, 28. Uh, we have tier one startup city series <laughs> whatever the table. Then we will be as well in London in July 7 for cryptocurrency uh, conference and cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, this is as a part of uh, FinTech Innovation La London show. Uh, so we'll be glad to, see, to meet the guys here as well. Uh, finally, in August, we will, uh, we will present in, uh, and uh, will participate in FinTech Innovation Week at the Silicon Valley in New York, or both of them probably. Of course, we will also I will visit Singapore uh, in, because of cooperation and we are in negotiation there with uh, preparing to launch a pilot with IBM Blockchain Garage in Singapore as a part of Gipper Ledger product. And, uh, and also friends with PayPal community there, with the PayPal Accelerator. So, of course, there is a boom of ICO and there is a very hit, uh, hot market right now. There is a lot of ICOs going on and uh, many platforms, many teams, some teams. I see that some talented people, they come together just to raise funding. As soon as they raise funding, they break, uh, break apart and uh, they can make another alliances in order to raise funding again. So it's kind of, <laughs> kind of business of raising funding. So for us, it's a very long-term story. So the ICO is just the first step and it's already took us one year and a half to get here. And the plan is, uh, and the plan is go further and uh, to make a much bigger company than just, just and much more money than just raise this uh, 10, 20, 30 million dollars. So we want to make billion company or 10 billion company. And uh, the, the, key, the key difference with this project from another, it's uh, uh, that we are building the platform for uh, making crypto assets. And uh, this is not just another like ICO boutique. It's uh, the platform uh, with legal expertise, with fintech expertise, and with deep uh, understanding of securitization that brings all these techniques to cryptocurrency. So uh, we we become kind of uh, we we are not uh, taking the client in the clients the ICOs that are not backed by assets. So all our ICOs they will be backed by assets. And which means that uh, that they will be, they will sustain. They will stay in even after like uh, all the money and the, the market market will be stabilized, and uh, the cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency assets will treat in the same way as regular funding, global capital assets. So our assets will be very like well positioned because they were backed by real cash flows in the real world. They will be backed by real real estate, land, art, and a lot of things that you see in the world right now. And our platform is, uh, is prepared in order to make this happen. So we leverage and finding entrepreneurs. We are hiring these entrepreneurs in order to build uh, new kind of assets, in order to build uh, new, uh, new kind of technology. And then we're already making these ICOs. So no bubbles, just like real stuff. So we have, uh, in terms of our long-term plans, we, uh, we want to build uh, the big alliance and the foundation consortiums that uh, uh, the biggest, the leading banks from all over the world and exchanges uh, will be part of that. And uh, big parts of assets or associations represented a lot of like small, medium enterprises all over the world will be part of these foundations. And so these guys, they will meet each other and this will be like a, a place where they will meet, negotiate and come to, this, to the one protocol of, ex of value exchange and securitization of these assets and bringing liquidity. So they will come there in order, in order to decrease uh, the cost of capital for small businesses and these uh, non-liquid assets. And uh, this, this will be the interest for asset owners. For financial market, the interest will be to get the new investment tools 
to, to get the new investment tools where they can invest money and to basically make money work. So it's, good, it's already happening right now and then uh, basically now our region already succeeded in, do, in doing that and we want to, to grow this all over the world. So Bankex right now, it's uh, uh, the, or the company that is represented in two countries. It's in uh, Moscow, Russian Federation, and in Singapore. Me, myself, I'm the, CEO, the founder and the Ukrainian citizen, so I'm a kind of uh, expat in both of these countries. And uh, the plan is uh, to open also a New York office. And the uh, foundation is, will be registered uh, in uh, Singapore jurisdiction. Banking Labs as a fintech factory will be re registered in uh, US and uh, in Singapore we are doing uh, proof of concepts and we plan to get a sponsorship for Singapore government and uh, our final destination in terms of client is US and New York so that's why we participated in many conferences there. So and uh, Bankex right now it's uh, around 15-20 people. We have uh, in Bankex Labs we have two companies, our subsidiaries that already got funding, and uh, we continue to grow this this part of business. So the, I'm right now in the process of uh, hiring and finding the entrepreneurs uh, to run this thing separately, so I could concentrate on the foundation part. And this will be our core uh, still. The lab will be the place where we will come back in order to find the right technology and the right expertise in order to make a tokenization work and uh, tokenize the new type of assets. So we expect that we will find new type of assets in different parts of the world and see the market opportunity and then we come back to found to our Bankex labs and say, hey guys, we need the technology, we need team that is uh, going to tokenize that. And they will uh, either do this, they will find them on the market, they will hire them, they will just make a, a partnership with them, and they will bring us this technology, they will bring us these teams, and then we will be able to uh, basically to tokenize this all over the world. So the, the, best, the, 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 the best success and the final goal for us is uh, to uh, make uh, something crypto assets uh, public on the cryptocurrencies and then to make these crypto assets from cryptocurrency to move to move them to the public exchanges. So as soon as our assets will be will become tradable on the Nasdaq, it means that uh, our concept won. It means that we become really uh, like a issuable agency and the guys who make reliable, very reliable crypto assets that is uh, got a trust from uh, traditional capital markets. So when uh, just let's let's assume that you are the young blockchain coder and the guy, talented guy who thinking about where to spend his next five ten years, and the best way. So I, w I would think about strategically about blockchain and uh, the ways uh, it's going to be too used, and uh, until until now it's mostly was used uh, in, in in the business cases of uh, cost saving when the big corporations wanted to save some uh, budget some cost uh, decreasing the amount of lawyers decreasing the amount of accountants uh, audi audit security and blah 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 so something like that. But uh, this already, uh, it's about over. Uh, then it was settlement time decreasing. Uh, the, most, the most interesting part, the next generation part, it's uh, to, to build new assets. When the blockchain enable new asset classes and new kind of uh, new, uh, new economics. So uh, let's just let's just think about like uh, about the current capital markets. So like uh, they exist because just there is some kind of assets that uh, could be tradable like within one day or couple of days, and they could be trackable. There is uh, uh, there there is complex uh, legal procedures behind that. So there is a lot of limitations, and you just explain like, just imagine like a big. Uh, uh, all the other world that exists behind these limitations, you will understand the, the full potential of blockchain. It means that many, many other worlds, many, many other pieces of assets, like for instance the art, or like, or like the, the painting of Raphael or whatever, and then there is uh, the the iron, the water, the just the gold. So this, uh, the, uh, with blockchain you can help the money to go to the, the to the best and uh, the, to very good causes 
in order to make this happen. For instance, uh, you can help like uh, to build new new schools for the pa for the painters because they will get funding because of their future paintings. Or you can f f help us help people to find and to uh, explore the water uh, water in their land, like in Africa, because like they will get also there is it could be funded through blockchain through crowdfunding process. So there is all over the world there is many 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 applications and as soon as you can do this you can go out and you can do you can participate in many interesting projects that will just uh, help you to express yourself yeah so uh, if you're just thinking about uh, that you're more conservative uh, user so you have some traditional asset and you're just trying to figure out what you can get from this technology then uh, you should probably imagine about their you should think about the decreasing the, uh, your capital uh, cost of funding, for instance, here. So you get funding through bonds or from the bank. You should think about if uh, check with us if we, if we can help you to decrease this cost of funding because we can increase the, uh, the trust uh, on, the bank le on the bank side. So we'll implement some kind of blockchain technologies and, uh, the, and the bank will trust you more because they will be able to track the asset and to trace the custody like regularly, not just by monthly or quarterly or annual uh, audit or uh, due diligence, but uh, regularly for technical stuff. So this we already can do. In some, in some cases, if you own the business that is uh, very complex and it consists uh, from small parts of the same regular things, like franchise model for a different retail network, then you could find difficult to uh, to f get a funding for these franchises, small businesses, and we will we can help you with this as well, because as I said, we are first of all uh, fintech guys, and second we are blockchain guys. It means that uh, blockchain is the way for our fintech technology to grow and to make them global 